So let me tell you about the book of Odyssey. Uh, and what's in this book? What, what's, what's the content? Well, so we, we divided the book into five parts. Uh, the first part is on the Odyssey community. So this talks about the Odyssey community, who, who is in the Odyssey community, uh, what are our mission, vision, and values, as George already uh, alluded to, but also what is the history of Odyssey and, um, and, and what do people do in Odyssey? There's a separate chapter for if you're new or relatively new to Odyssey, well, where do you begin? Where do you go? If, if I'm a clinical researcher, where do I go in Odyssey? If I'm a methods researcher, what, what, do, what are the first steps that I take in Odyssey? And of course, because, because open science is at the heart of Odyssey, we have a dedicated chapter to, uh, to open science. Part two of the book is on uniform data representation. So of course, this goes into the common data model and the standardized vocabularies, and also talks about how one uh, can do an uh, extract, transform, load from your source data into the common data model. Part three is data analytics. Um, so here we, we first describe the three primary use cases that we define in, in Odyssey, which is characterization, population level estimation, and patient level prediction and then goes into the tools that we have available uh, uh, for those use cases, uh, how you can define cohorts, and then actually goes into each one of these use cases in details. And the idea here is that it's not just a theoretical description of what those use cases are, but you're actually uh, taken quite deeply into uh, the practice of, of how do you uh, do this yourself. So it, it comes with, with uh, uh, screenshots of Atlas and R code uh, that you can then see on how to do this yourself. And actually at the, the back of these chapters, there are even exercises uh, where you can try it yourself uh, on, on your own laptop. We have a, a part of the book that's dedicated to this notion of evidence quality that I mentioned earlier, uh, and breaking it up into data quality, clinical validity, software validity, and method validity. And we actually were able to squeeze into the data quality uh, chapter a, a, a description of how you can run the, uh, the data quality dashboard that, that uh, Claire just presented. So that was, that was a last minute effort. Um, and the last part of the book is on Odyssey studies. So uh, there's a one chapter called Study Steps that's specifically on uh, if I want to do a study and then with the idea that you're going to do this within your own organization, what are the steps that I take to perform this on my own data? And then a separate chapter on, well, if I want to take this study and I'll uh, run it across the Odyssey uh, research network, what extra requirements uh, do I, uh, does that pose on, on my analysis and how do I meet those requirements? So going back to that, that, that checklist that I um, presented earlier, let's just walk through that with an example of suppose I want to do a, um, a population level estimation study. Well, uh, the first step in the checklist is fully pre-specify your study. Well, you could probably define your cohort so you could go to that chapter. You probably need to read the population level estimation chapter on the designs that are available to you and the ways to implement that. And then you may need to read study steps and, and the Odyssey network research chapter to help you uh, on your way with, with defining your study. The data quality has its own dedicated chapter, and as I mentioned, uh, describes how you use the, uh, the data quality dashboard. Clinical validity has its own chapter going into fee evaluator, um, but of course probably you also need to read up on, on how you define your cohorts. Software validity has its own chapter. Method validity has its own chapter, but part of it in this case will, will also be uh, discussed in, in population level estimation. So just trying to say the best practices that we presented, you should be able to, to achieve them uh, with what you read in the book. So the book is available in different formats. So this is the, uh, the paperback version. Uh, so you're getting it for free, but it's also available uh, from Amazon. So you can go to amazon.com and if you're in the US, but also anywhere else in the world, you can go to Amazon and just order it. So we put it up there at cost price, which is $11, I think. Um, if you're Dutch like me and you don't want to spend $11, um, <laughs> then there's also an option for free version uh, on book.odyssey.org. So there's an HTML version for you to read in your browser. Uh, there's an EPUB version that you can read in your uh, e-reader when you're on the plane or something. And there's even a PDF version there, so you could print the book yourself if, if you wanted to. Uh, 